Hello, hello friends. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. Guys, it's such a popular video this and so I get so excited to film it every month. It's also a good way for me to just have a look at all the canvases that I'm working on. As crazy as that sounds, it's just good to be able to have them in one video and for me to be able to have one look at all of the canvases that I have currently kitted up and like I say that I'm working on. So yes, you guys, it is time for my monthly whip parade. Now, I know that you guys love watching these videos and I know that I also love watching these videos of other YouTube reviewers. It's just such a nice way of getting a snapshot of a lot of different canvases from a lot of different companies. So without further ado guys, today's video uh, is going to have, I'm just trying to think, six. I think it's six canvases and that excludes my cross stitch conversion. Now guys, those of you who follow me and who have been watching my whip parades every month will know that I started to battle with my cross stitch conversion. I lost interest in it for the last month or two. I haven't worked on it at all. And now coming towards the end of May, I find myself in a similar situation where I haven't worked on that canvas at all. So I have decided to remove that canvas for the moment from my whip parade videos. I'm not yet at the stage where I want to kit it down. Like it's still kitted up and it's irking me actually because it's taking up two full storage containers, but yet it's just a canvas I'm not working on. But like I say, I'm not yet at the stage where I'm ready to give up on it. There's a part of me that still feels that at some stage I will pick it back up and keep going with it. Um, the truth of the matter is I don't hate the process, but I don't love the process either. And so I think that's making it difficult to work on, you know, to work on that kit on a monthly basis. But because I'm not absolutely hating it, I'm also not at the stage where I want to give up on it quite yet. So for now, you are not going to see that canvas in my whip parade videos. The next time that canvas makes an appearance, you guys will know that happily I have been able to make some progress on it. So excluding my cross stitch conversion, there are six canvases that you are going to see today. I have made progress on all six of these. If memory serves me correctly, I think I have made progress on all six except, except for one. And we will get to that one. She will still be featured in this video, even though I haven't made progress on her but I do think in the next month I will work on that one further. I'm not giving up on it. I'm not disliking it, but I'm jumping the gun now. Let's get to that when we get to it. So for now, guys, let me start off by showing you the kit that I have had kitted up and that I have been working on the longest and obviously progressing through my six kits and finishing with the kit that I have most recently kitted up and that I have most recently started working on. So guys, the kit to show you first is from Dreamer Designs. Oh, it's a little bit of a big one. Um, this one, let me just put it like this so you can see from the bottom and then I will push her up. Um, this one is called Daydreamer. I'm going to give you some stats now, but before I get to that, I just want to show you up to where I've gotten and I also want to show you that I have this kit rolled up because of the size so you can see that I've rolled it up here it is rolled around a foam roller and I'm holding um, it in place on both sides with these bulldog clips so I'm not going to unroll it for the point of this video but I just wanted to show you guys that so obviously you can see here is my line of washi tape here is some release paper so I have made progress on this section here I think it was since you guys saw it last so before I talk about a few aspects of this canvas let me just give you some stats so like I said this one is called daydreamer it is by the artist Curtis Rykovich it is a dreamer designs release it's got square drills um, it's in the size 60 by 80 centimeters so it is a big canvas and that is why I've had to roll it up and it comes with a total of 68 colors including five ABs so there you go guys that is my progress that is where i have gone and up to and on a positive note guys i'm really enjoying working on this canvas now those of you who watch a lot of youtube review videos will know that there are a lot of people who don't love 
or even like the Dreamer Design Square Drills. A lot of people find them very gappy. Now, I am someone who does find that there is gapping with these drills, but I'm also someone who doesn't think the gapping is atrocious. I, uh, I mean, I work on these Dreamer Design Squares and I really don't have a big problem with it. Like as I'm looking down at this kit now, especially here in the greens and the darker colors, I really can't see any gapping at all. While I'm working on the kit and with the light pad behind it, I can see that there is some gapping. But it's, it's, not, it's not major, you guys. It's not so bad that it's a big deal and I don't want to order squares from Dreamer Designs anymore. That just hasn't been my experience. Is there some gapping? Yes, there is some gapping. But I can tell you now, I'm also working on a, on a Diamond Art Club kit or two where I also feel there is some slight gapping. And we will get to that in this video. So... For me, I'm having an awesome experience with this one. I'm really enjoying it. The drills are fitting together really well. Yes, as I look down here now, like in these very lighter colors here, I can see a tiny bit of gapping where I almost want to try and push the drills a little bit closer together. But I don't think that gapping is any worse than any other kit from any other store that I've worked on. Um, and like I say, in the darker colors and the greens, the gapping, I mean, it's not there. As I look down at this piece, I can't see it. So in general, I'm having a great experience. The only slightly negative, and I don't even know if it's a big negative, is the amount of confetti. This kit, oh gosh, guys, the confetti is off the scales. I'm not sure if you can see here just the amount of color changes and all the rest. It is extremely confetti heavy. I'm also not 100% sure if the image is 100% clear or if it looks a little bit pixelated. Uh, the jury's out on that. I also think it's t it, it goes to Dreamer Design's um, rendering style. They have a very linear rendering style like you can see over here. Lots of lines. Um, and over here as well, this is sort of the top of the water, you know. So her body here is all under the water and then from here it's above the water. She also has this plait in her hair and again there's a lot of linear um, um, uh, drill placement here and so I think that also gives Dreamer Designs a very distinct rendering style and I know it's not everybody's style. I really like it, in general I like it. I will reserve comment on what I actually think of the rendering until the end but in, generally, in general I'm very happy with this kit. Just one last thing to note that this is an older Dreamer Designs kit and so the kit itself or the canvas itself is very color saturated. You can probably see in her face here how red all of this is. When you put the drills down it is slightly lighter than what the canvas itself is but again Dreamer Designs is known for this. They were also criticized a little bit for all this red sometimes in the skin tones so again we'll have to wait and see. And then lastly all I can say really about the quality is the drills are good. They're really good. I'm not having a major issue. There's quite a lot of trash with the three tens. Um, and lastly, just touching on the symbols, mm, not great. Like I say, this is a Dreamer Designs older kit and their symbols are known to be not great on their older kits and I'm having that experience here. I find a lot of the symbols are not all that clear and with the light pad on, I, I battle to see some of the symbols. But it's not all of them, it's just some of them and in general, I'm having a good experience with this kit. So guys, I'm going to leave it there in terms of Daydreamer. Right, my friends, then next up is this gorgeous but absolutely massive kit from Diamond Art Club. This one I'm not going to be moving around at all, guys, because it is just so big. I'm, I'm battling to fit it on here into the frame. I actually had this side here rolled around a foam roller um, as well as the other side because that's how big this kit is. So I've actually just taken the foam roller away on this side and I've flattened this kit down just so that you can see or should I say this canvas? I keep saying kit when I mean canvas. I flattened the canvas down just so that you guys can see the image and can see sort of how far I've gotten. So some stats on this piece. This one is called Journey in the Dark. The artist is Orclay Studios. Like I mentioned, it is a release from Diamond Art Club. It's a square draw diamond painting. Um, it comes with, oh no wait, let me tell you the size first. The size is 98 centimeters times 65 centimeters. So this is 
truly a massive canvas, you guys, and, and I'm finding it a massive canvas. It comes with a total of 53 colors, and I'm just having a look. It has four ABs and one glow in the dark drill. All the 310 that you see through this um, canvas is glow in the dark drills. Okay, so let me try and just push it up. So there is the bottom, obviously, and then pulling it down. Uh, where am I? <laughs> Gosh, guys, this one is so huge. Okay, so I'm pulling it down, down, down. Okay, so that is sort of the section that I have worked on. You probably can't get a feeling necessarily for how big this is through the camera or how much I have done on it, but I really have worked on a lot of this canvas. And it's probably why I haven't made so much progress with some of my other kits. But in general, guys, I mean, other than the massive size of this one, um, sorry if the, the camera's getting knocked a bit, but... <laughs> It's just the size of this canvas. It's now like knocking on the bottom of the arm there. But anyway, I'm really enjoying this one. It is massive and it is opening my eyes again to the fact that I don't necessarily want to buy too many more, if any, of these massive canvases. This one, as you can probably see, has a lot of color blocking. And so I'm going along at a decent pace. But I cannot even vaguely begin to imagine working on a canvas this size that has a lot or even a medium amount of confetti. It would just take me six months to finish a canvas this size. The only reason I'm making good progress is because of the color blocking. You can see here in the building, it's all totally black. If you have a look at the sea, which has been so much fun to do because I love line blocking. There's so much line blocking in the sea here, all the way across here. A little bit of confetti around these parts, obviously, because of the reflection of the moon onto the sea. So, you know, there's some confetti there. And then if you have a look again in the background here, also nice areas of color blocking in the background there. And I love these colors over here. It's like uh, the sun going down, I presume, because the moon has come up. But guys, I'm just loving working on this piece. I'm having so much fun with this one, really enjoying myself. Um, all I can say on a slightly negative side is that there is a little bit of gapping with this canvas. You don't see it looking at it like this. You won't see it through the camera, and I'm not seeing it now with my naked eye. But when the light pad is on behind it, I can definitely see that there is some gapping. But guys, again, I mean, as I look down at this piece, the drills are just so beautiful and so perfect. They're actually fitting together fantastically. Perhaps the glue has dried a little bit and has um, pulled the, the drills together a little bit because, you know, as I look down at this one now, it is just looking absolutely stunning. So if any of you have had your eyes on this piece at all, I would highly recommend it. I don't think this one has been discontinued, but please don't quote me on that. You would have to just head over to the website and have a look. But basically, guys, I'm hoping to make some more progress with this one, obviously, in the next month. But I doubt very much that I will finish it. So I'm sure you will be seeing it again. But yes, guys, for now, this is my massive canvas that I'm working on. And I'm really happy with how much progress I've made in this last month. Okay, friends, then next up is this super cute little piece that I decided to call Bob's and Bert. Let me just pan her up and down for you so that you can see how far I've gotten. So I'm not quite sure where I was in my last video. Somewhere down here. So I have made a nice amount of progress on this one. Um, like I said, you know, before you can see my washi tape line always on my diamond painting. So this one is over there. So I'm probably, I'm just having, yeah, I'm a little bit further than halfway. So probably 55%, maybe 65, no, 55 to 60% of the way through. And isn't she just so sweet? So this is an image that I created myself. Um, it's in a series that I've launched. This is the first image in that series called I Have a Pet Dragon. Like I said, this one is called Bob's and Bert. I ordered this one from a South African diamond painting company called MTT Diamond Paintings. This is a 50 by 50 size. It is round drills. It comes with a total of 54 colors and no ABs. Um, guys, 
There's not a lot to say other than I'm just having fun with this one. I think the image is very fun. I think it's really turning out nicely. In general, I'm enjoying the process. There was a hell of a lot of confetti in the flowers, but that is normal. I've said it before in other videos and I'll say it again. Whenever you work on flowers or trees or grass or anything like that, just be prepared for a lot of confetti. The only other slightly negative thing to say is that this one does have very distinct guide circles. So when I'm working on it with the light pad behind it, the guide circles are really, I'm going to be honest, they are bothering me because I can see them. I can see them around the drills all the time and that is bothering me. However, from a distance, I mean, even from this distance that I am looking at this canvas with the naked eye right now, I can't necessarily see the guide circles. I can a little bit in the lighter colors, but not in the darker colors. So from a distance, and as I'm looking at this piece now, I really do think she is turning out absolutely gorgeous. Would I prefer that there were no guide circles? Yes, I would. Or they need to be made a lot lighter. Um, it's some feedback that I might give to the store just so that they can have a look into that because I think, you know, the, the diamond painting experience would be improved if there were no guide circles or very, very light guide circles. But in general, a fun image, a fun time that I'm having. And yeah, I'm happy with the progress I've made. Whether I'll finish her in the next month, I'm not sure. Um, I will definitely make more progress, maybe another row. So you may see her again, guys. So... You know, for now, I'm not sure. Maybe you will, maybe you, you won't. So for now, let me just say, this is all I have to show you in regards to Barb's and Bert. Okay, my friends, then next up is the canvas that I have made no progress on. This one is another one of my own images. This one is called Glowing Halloween, and I also ordered this one from a South African diamond painting company. So I'm just starting here at the bottom just to show you that this is the section that I have done. Uh, you would have seen this exact section in my last whip parade video because like I say, I haven't made any progress. I was hoping to at least just finish off this first row, but you know, I was working so much on that extra large DAC um, image journey in the dark and a few of my others that I really just didn't find time for this one. I still love this image and I love actually the small section that I've done, even though it's small, I absolutely love how this is turning out. So just to give you some stats quickly, like I said, this is my own image. Um, it is called Glowing Halloween. I sent this image to a South African diamond painting company called Oh So Crafty. They chose to license it from me and the owner of the store, Dom, actually sent me this canvas for free just so that I could test out their product and make sure that I'm happy to have my images there and obviously to showcase this on my channel. So very grateful to her for that because this is an image that I was going to order from her anyway. But anyway, just some more stats. This is a big one, guys. It's a 60 by 60 centimeters. It's a square drill canvas. It comes with a total of 95 colors including five ABs. Now that is probably ever so slightly where my problem comes in, in that I've never worked on a canvas with that many colors. And although I'm not finding the confetti to be terrible, because obviously with 95 colors, you're going to get a lot of confetti. And if you look down here, I'm hoping you can see how many color changes there are. This does have a shit ton of confetti, but that is not really my issue. My issue is that I didn't have a specific diamond painting storage container available when I wanted to kit this up. And in fact, I would have needed two. For 95 colors, I would have needed two storage containers and I didn't even have one. But what I did have were various different... Um, I actually want to show... Let me actually show you how I've kitted this one up so that it will make sense to you. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm back and now I can show you what I'm talking about. So the 95 colors have gone into containers like this. This is only three of them. I think I have a total of six. Now what you can see is this container, the first one like this, comes with very big jars. So these are very big jars that I have drills in. Then there's the medium size, which is this container. So this comes with these type of jars. And as you can see, these are substantially smaller, but still a decent size. And then in the smallest size, I have these. 
and hopefully you can see how teeny tiny these are. So these are just teeny tiny little cylindrical jars. And like I say, I have two of these, two of these, and half. I think about a half of one of these. So what I was going to say to you guys is that it's not necessarily the confetti that is bothering me. It's trying to find the symbols between my six different containers. Now, what I've tried to do in the containers is put them in terms of their colors. So in this one, you can see here are the oranges moving to the peach and the pinks going down into the dark pink. Then I've tried to do that in my containers, but it's just not working 100%. And so every time I have to look for a symbol, I have to literally look through all six of these containers. And I'm spending half my time just trying to find the drills, you know, and trying to locate the symbols. And like I say, the drills in these different pods. So that is really what is causing me the issue. And that I think is what is hindering my ability to work on this or my desire to work on this. But having said that, in general, I'm having a really good experience. I would recommend the store. I'm happy that they have licensed some of my images. The square drills are really, really good. They are fitting together nicely. Again, ever so slightly amounts or ever so slight amounts of gapping. But hey, I've said that now about Dreamer Designs. I've even said it about my Diamond Art Club kit. So, I mean, you guys know the, the company that I really experience zero gapping is Evermoment. But pretty much all other companies, there is some level of gapping and it's just what level you just need to decide for yourselves if you're happy with the amount of gapping in this one the gapping is is there it is there but it's minimal i'm happy with it it's less than dreamer designs it's probably about what i'm experiencing with diamond art club so i mean more than happy with the quality of this kit so if you guys are south african and you're looking for a diamond painting company to order from i would recommend that you go and check out oh so crafty they have a ton of images. They have a lot of stuff from me, but they also have images from various other people on there as well. And I would happily recommend their square drills to you. Other than that, that's all I'm going to say about this one, guys. Hopefully in next month's video, you will see that I have made some more progress with this one because I really do want to. This is not a kit at all that I want to give up on. I just need to get my mind right to know that this is going to be slow. It's going to be a bit of a plodding job because it is a big task to try and find the drills, you know. But other than that, guys, loving this one and whole thumbs that I will make progress by next month. Okay, guys, and the second last canvas that I have to show you in this video is this canvas, which I got from AliExpress. So um, you guys really are getting to see a lot of canvases from a lot of different stores in this specific video, <laughs> which I'm happy about. But you will note there has not been an ever moment in this video. So I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to start working on my next ever moment soon. But anyway, guys, this is one where you would have seen the unboxing on my channel fairly recently. Let me just show you from the top. So just pushing her up and down so that you can get a good look at her. That is obviously the bottom and that is to where I have gotten. So let me just give you some stats. Sorry, just adjusting the camera just a tad. There we go, just to make it look a bit straighter on the bottom. There we go. So you will see again that this is my line of washi tape. So I have done this section on the bottom. Now, okay, I was about to start getting into a few thoughts, but I haven't even given you the stats. This one is my own image yet again, guys. I have titled this one Forest Sprite. I ordered this one from a diamond painting company on AliExpress. I'm going to butcher the name. <laughs> so please just try and find the unboxing video if you are interested. It's the Nian Hu Diamond Painting Official Store. It's an AliExpress store. This is a um, round roll diamond painting in the size of 45 times 60 centimeters. It came with a total of 50 colors, including four ABs. So guys, when I did the unboxing, you will remember how impressed I was with the drills. They almost looked like they could have been resin, but I obviously established then, and I can confirm that now, that they are definitely not resin. They are acrylics because they did have the dimples in the back of them. So they're acrylic drills, but guys, they are excellent drills. I can tell you the drills are excellent. I can also tell you the clarity of the symbols and the printing on this canvas is again 
excellent. There are no dark guide circles. There are guide circles, but they are immensely light. So if you are someone who enjoys guide circles, you're going to enjoy that. Like I do, I actually like guide circles, but I don't like them to interfere with my diamond painting enjoyment or to be too distinct. And this canvas is perfect because they are there, but they are very light. Now, I'm not a hundred percent in love with how this one is turning out and I'll tell you why the ABs the placement of the ABs like with a lot of companies where there is no hand rendering which you you know you're not going to get with AliExpress stores they don't do hand rendering not even ever moment does hand rendering so what they tend to do I think is they just let the computer render the image and then they just let the computer um, swap out certain drills for ABs so they don't actually apply their mind to where the ABs should be and the ABs in this canvas or on this um, yeah on this canvas and in this kit are really spoiling this for me because they're just all over the place and they're so random so for example you probably can't see so you're just going to have to trust me as I pointed out to you they are green shim uh, not green sorry they are yellow shimmering ABs all around here where I'm showing you with my finger now this is technically on her arm okay then there is a big blob of a light yellow ABs in the middle. This whole section here are ABs. Then you've got the 310 AB, which a lot of people don't like anyway. I do like it, but it needs to be used correctly. It hasn't been used correctly here because just have a look at this. You can actually even see it through the camera. This is the 310 AB, just arbitrarily placed. You know, you can see here where the, the black is around the background and even over here in her eyes and on her eyelids it's all going to be this 310 ab i mean there you can actually see you know it's just put down like that for no rhyme or reason and you can see it very clearly through the camera that that's the 310 so i'm not enjoying how this one has been rendered i don't like the look sorry again i'm just trying to get this camera right um, I don't like the look of this. I don't like how it's turning out. If you're going to use ABs in a piece like this, put the ABs somewhere in the butterfly. Or as you come up here, here's another butterfly. Here are flowers and leaves and all sorts of things up there. Use the ABs there. Don't use them like this. So I'm actually not enjoying this kit, guys. I am considering giving up on it. I do not do this often. I do not give up on diamond paintings very easily. But I have a huge stash of diamond paintings and it really doesn't make sense for me to be working on diamond paintings that I'm not enjoying or where I can see that I'm not going to enjoy the end result. I don't know if I may try and do one more line or if I'm just going to give up on this one. I had decided to give up on it. Then I changed my mind and I said, no, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to keep going. But now, as I'm showing it to you now and I'm looking at it again, I'm like, uh, uh, it does not look nice. I don't, I don't like how it looks. I don't like these three tens just over here. I don't like the arbitrary placement of the ABs that are just going to be everywhere and are going to ruin this kit. So for me, guys, this one might be, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? A give up on kit. I think it might be. So this is probably going to be the only time you're going to see this one in a whip parade. I will do a post review in my AliExpress showdown series on this one because I feel that, I mean, even though I haven't done a lot. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's a motorbike just driving past, a delivery bike. But anyway, um, I feel that I've done enough to be able to give you guys some thoughts and to render an opinion. There's still a lot to go. I mean, you can see, I, I mean, there's still a lot of this diamond painting to actually diamond paint. But I do feel that having this section done has given me um, enough experience with working on this kit and this kit from this specific store to be able to do my post review. So for now, I mean, like I say, as I look down at this kit now, I, I think I'm going to give up on it, guys. It's taking up a storage container and I can't see myself really enjoying this process any further. So, yeah, you guys, unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of good about the store. And perhaps, I mean, just thinking about it now, if you could order from the store and tell them you don't want ABs, you just want a diamond painting with no ABs, then I would actually recommend the store because I am having a good experience. Excellent drills, excellent um, symbols. Um, 
no static in the kitting up process. Like everything was going really, really well until the ABs came into it. And you guys know how I feel about ABs anyway. I don't like those bloody drills. And I often think they can ruin a canvas. And this is a perfect example of the ABs being incorrectly used and they, they ruining the canvas. So yes, guys, I do actually, as bizarre as this sounds, recommend the store, but only on the basis that when you order, you specifically tell them that you don't want any ABs and that you are only wanting normal drills. If you do that, I think this would be a great store to order from because I really think this is a good quality kit. It's just that, like I say, they're relying on computer rendering for their ABs and they've just swapped out a shit ton of, a uh, so, sorry, of normal drills all over the place, replaced them with ABs, and it's not working in my opinion. So yes, guys, let me leave that one there. Like I say, I will do a full post review where I will go into all of that sort of detail um, and, and really break my experience down into kitting up, the canvas, the symbols, the drills, the rendering, final thoughts. I will do all of that in my post review. But for now, this is probably the first and the last time you're going to see this one in my whip parade videos. Okay, gang, then the sixth and final canvas in this video is going to be this one called Imaginarium. You would have seen a very recent unboxing on my channel for this one. Let me just push her down. This one is by the art artist Scott Howden. It is released or has been released by Diamond Art Club. It is a square drill diamond painting in the size 49.6 times 61.3 centimeters. It comes with a total of 60 colors, three of which are ABs, and then there is one fairy dust drill as well. So there you go, you guys. Like I said, she made a, a recent appearance on my channel in terms of the unboxing. And so I haven't gone in very far with her. Again, that is obviously the line, the washi tape line. I'm just going to do that. And so you'll see I actually have made some decent progress on this one, considering how recently I unboxed it. I'm enjoying it, guys. For now, because it's early days, there's not a hell of a lot I can say. Um... Like with my other Diamond Art Club, there is a tiny bit of gapping with this one. Not bad, not an issue, not a problem, but very, very amounts of small gapping. I think I'm getting spoiled with my Ever Moment kits where I just don't experience any gapping at all. So I don't get the clicking sound with these um, Diamond Art Club kits because there is the smallest amount of gapping. But like I say, and I've said in other... Um, or, you know, in regard to other canvases that I've shown you, I think the drill does, the drills, I think the glue does dry and it pulls the drills together somewhat because I'm noticing, again, when I look down with my naked eye, this one is looking really, really good. Um, the only other maybe slight negative is I'm battling a little bit with this canvas. It doesn't want to lie down properly. You can probably see here. It has some creases and, and... Yeah, I'm just, I don't want to be too picky, but can you guys see here, there's got some creases and some wrinkles in it. Let me show you, this side looks a bit worse. Sorry, I'm not sure why it got dirty like this, but if you can see there, the dirt is basically along that. I did have it on my carpet, but I mean, my carpet shouldn't be that dirty. But anyway, <laughs> I do put it between the dining room table, the carpet on my floor in my hobby room, and another table so yes but anyway the point of this is to show you that crease there um, and again at the top of the canvas also just not wanting to lie nice and flat you can probably see here and it's just not like mm, it's just not looking great the canvas just isn't looking great for a diamond art club but I mean I don't know why this isn't a specifically old kit but anyway it's not serious I thought I may just put it under the mattress just for tonight and I think maybe the weight of the mattress might just help to get it lying down flatter and get the corners down and so on. But other than that, guys, as always with Diamond Art Club, an amazing experience. I really don't have a lot to say about this one at this stage. I'm not having problems with the drills or the symbols or the clarity of the symbols. There's a nice blend of confetti and color blocking. The rose was obviously very heavy confetti. The rest for now has been decent amounts of color blocking, actually. But as I move up and work further on this piece, as it goes up, it's going to be more and more confetti. But yes, for now, guys, all good with this one. Like I say, my only gripe is I'm just having a little bit of a more 
negative experience with the canvas itself, which, you know, I normally don't get with Diamond Art Club, but hey, you can't win them all. So <laughs> it does happen now and then. But other than that, yes, guys, happy to be working on this one and have made a good amount of progress considering, like I say, that this one was one that I've only very recently kitted up. Okay, gang, so I am going to leave things there. You can have a look at her lovely face as I sign off here. <laughs> So gang, thank you so much for joining me today. I love filming these whip parade videos. As I said in the beginning, it's such fun for me to have a good look over all of these canvases. And also it sort of puts in my head which ones I want to make some progress on and, and, you know, which ones I need to get cracking with. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you're checking out this video for the first time, please consider subscribing. It would be awesome to have you along with me on my diamond painting journey. Anyway, my friends, happy diamond painting. Bye.